how sweet it is. Hmm. Anybody have any idea what I might be getting ready to talk about? Sugar. Sweeteners. 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 There is other sweeteners to use besides sugar, white sugar. Don't everybody haul out at one time. Who knows one good substitute for white sugar? Oh, she's waiting right here. Stevia. 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 Yes. And because you answered that correct that question correctly, Holy Wholesome is one of our sponsors. Enjoy the donated prize from Holy Wholesome. Holy Wholesome makes vegan cran, uh, vegan uh, graham cracker crust. Vegan graham cracker crust. Okay, so stevia is from a plant. Stevia is from a plant. All right. I've got two other sweeteners that I like to use besides stevia. And I see some of my baking friends waving their hands, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna choose them because they probably already know what I'm talking about. I want somebody that is, I see somebody with my apron in the back. How about right here? Agave nectar, one of my most favorite sweeteners to use. Agave nectar is from the cactus plant. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so if you were using one teaspoon of sugar, you can use one teaspoon of agave. The other thing about agave is that agave is diabetic friendly. Let me hear you say that. <laughs> diabetic friendly, yes. It does not whack your blood sugar, sugar levels, okay? All right, we got stevia, we had agave. What's another good substitute for white sugar? Now, while you're thinking about that, New Neutrals is the stevia product that I use. Now, I came upon this uh, because I had an individual that is gluten sensitive and was very challenged with sweeteners. And she found that this was a brand of stevia that does not have an aftertaste. Because some of the brands of stevia have just a little aftertaste. This works quite well in baking. You would use, well, let me ask you this. How many packets of the stevia would equal a half a cup of sugar? Who said two? Back way in the back. It is two. It is two. Now I used for a batch of sweet potato cupcakes yielding two dozen, I used only five packs of stevia. And then agave nectar was mentioned. Agave nectar. This size agave nectar can be purchased at Costco. You know, Costco's is a good place to go when you're buying in quantities. If you go to the grocery store, most of the grocery stores have agave, but there is a much smaller container for a lot more money. So the, the um, economical way to purchase is to go to Costco. They come two in a pack uh, for your agave nectar. Now. One last sweetener. Who can guess one last sweetener? It's close, close to sugar. Turbinado sugar, yes. Sugar in the raw. Turbinado, let's pull it out. Okay, everybody seen sugar in the raw? Okay, I know Kroger's had it. Most of the stores have it. Again, you know, if you're baking and you're looking for the economical way, this size bag can be purchased at Costco's. I was so excited months ago when I found that Costco's carries both the agave nectar and the raw cane sugar, sugar in the raw. But you can get it in like a two pound box from Kroger's or some of the uh, other grocery stores. Okay, so that is our first teachable moment, how sweet it is. What are the sweeteners that we're gonna start trying to use? Agave nectar, stevia, and 
sugar in the raw. All right, give yourselves a round of applause.